Hi, Dr. Phil. My name is Joseph A. Della Ferra. I was a letter carrier with the U.S. Postal Service in my hometown of Belleville, New Jersey for 22 years. My difficulties began when I reported my manager, Kenneth J. Benequista, also of Belleville, for extorting money from my young coworker, Bill Tinger, and for stealing money from the U.S. Postal Service. I reported his criminal activities to postal inspectors in Newark, New Jersey, and to the Office of the Inspector General, specifically Special Agent Eric Lawson. Management harassed me and retaliated against me, and I lost my job and my pension. I'd appreciate any help you can give me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mike Regish. I worked for the U.S. Postal Service for 29 years. Um, I was wrongfully terminated, maliciously terminated by vengeful, abusive management uh, in October of 2012. Um, I have been forced at the age of 60 to start a new career. I nearly lost my home, I didn't. Um, three years before uh, my removal, I was uh, divorced. Uh, one year before my removal, my father died. Um, after my father died, my mother's health started going downhill rapidly. She's in hospice right now and is expected to pass any day now. Um, this needs to be changed. Postal management needs to stop. Hi, my name is Richard Santiago. For 10 years, I was a uh, USPS letter carrier here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And from the moment that I um, started working for the Postal Service, I noticed a very toxic atmosphere. An atmosphere that doesn't care about the rights of its employees. Even though they have a CBA, a collective bargaining agreement, even though they have in the collective bargaining agreement uh, laws against violence in the workplace. Uh, unfortunately, that's ignored. I think the one thing that makes my story unique is that I was a journalist for small papers. Feeding my family was hard, you know. So I decided to just get a normal government job and live out the rest of my life as a government employee. But seeing the toxic environment within the Postal Service, I couldn't do it. I, I, I wanted just to make change. So I started by joining the union. That didn't help. Tried to reach out to Washington and reach out to my local postmasters, and that didn't help. So now I'm deciding to make a documentary to uh, show the public what really goes on in hopes that that would make change. Before I worked for the Postal Service, I was a journalist for very small newspapers here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I decided that I was going to start um, doing undercover video and uh, undercover audio of the proof of the Postal Service. And that was because I tried several times to reach out to senators, to reach out to uh, the headquarters in Washington, D.C., USPS headquarters in Washington, D.C., and even the local postal service uh, um, postmasters here, and they all did nothing to help the situation. I feel that this topic would be very good for your show. I think it would bring a lot of light to the subject that's being ignored, which is workplace bullying. I think you'll be able to prove that all the postal shootings could have been avoided if the union did what they were supposed to do. Thank you very much for your time. Look forward to hearing more from you.